Have you heard of the doorway effect? Nope, me either. Well, obviously you did, but you know what I mean. <laughs> but like me, I guarantee you have been affected. So, what is it? Have you ever walked through a door and forgot basically what you were going to do? If the answer is yes, that's the doorway effect. Some might be thinking, come off it Paul, this ain't true. But psychologists believe that walking through a door and entering another room creates what's known as a mental blockage in the brain. Meaning that walking through open doors you know, basically resets the memory to make room for a new episode to emerge. It's crazy, isn't it? And this is generally referred to as the, yep, the doorway effect. I mean, this guy looks like he's had a few too many shocks, but this is Professor Gabriel Dravansky, psychologist from Notre Dame, or Notre Dame, wherever you come from. And uh, Gabriel Radvansky suggests that passing through doorways is basically the cause of these memory uh, lapses. Entering or exiting through a doorway serves as an, an event boundary in the mind which separates episodes of activity and files them basically away. Recalling the decision or activity that was made in a different room is difficult because it has been compartmentalised. Now, <laughs> you, you, you're all watching and you're watching this and you're thinking, come on, when is he going to mention Janus or that number 11? And I hate to, you know, let you guys down. And here you go. Remember, Janus is the number 11 represents the doorway funny that isn't it considering doorway <laughs> equals 11 too. do you know what I mean and what are we talking about in this video well I'm going to be talking about the doorway effect nah doorway effect surely can't add to 11 but wait it has no coincidences though guys so we've all done this. I've just found an example in picture form to show you guys. We've gone in a room, we've said, ah, I need my pen or your phone or something, and you've left it in another room. You then turn around, you've walked out, you've gone into the other room, you're like, what was I doing again? Now, I just found it intriguing because, as you know, I'm heavily researching to Janus, and obviously he is the threshold god, the god in regard to doorways from a Roman perspective. Obviously, the entity behind that has gone through the eons. Now, what's interesting to me in this, is it just internal doors? Is it external doors? And you can obviously see a little picture here of, of, the, of the doorways, of different types of doorways, and obviously, is it just your internal doors? Now what's intrigued me is what if I just come off researching and I didn't plan this way but it's actually fell beautiful into it. Are we just talking about the main door of the house? But from the description of the experiments it's just mainly doors. So that's why I was just asking that to myself. But we have arches and we have triumphal arches. These are doorways on a bigger, more mass scale. Do these have a bigger effect, whatever th they do? Because I've talked about the logic gates and I'm going to show you something etymology of weird I found on that. But from this theory of the doorway effect of affecting your memories, obviously I did, did the video on the circuit board. I, I briefly talked about the arches, the logic gate system, the boolean, all adding up to 11. Now we have things like vampires not being able to enter the home without permission. We have the Passover with the spirit mark the doors with the blood and it represented the 11 on the post we even have a quote in john which is another derivative of janos saying i am the door well what does that point to <laughs> so you can see me intriguing of why i wanted to do this follow-up 
to the last video I've just done and use an actual physical scientific principle of an experiment stating that yep we lose memories going through doors what else are we losing and this is what I'm going to try and get at in this video so before I go off on a tangent <laughs> I wanted to just formulate an idea on how arches doorways could wipe memory now obviously i showed you this last week horseshoe magnet in regard to arches and the electromagnetism well what if the doorways the arches acted like a neodymium magnet and wiping our memories our short-term memories um it's just an idea i know uh, these uh, magnets can actually wipe credit card things and vhs and they're not powerful enough to do hard drives but obviously if there's a different type of force and how our actually brain works, maybe that the magnetic flow of these arches slightly disrupts the memories for us basically forming a path between A to B and this disrupts it. So we end up like Rick here. I feel like my brain short circulating. It's just an idea. So I've just talked about how could it be like an electric magnetic field created by the arch and that wipes our short-term memory. That basically, you walk through the door with a thought because that's the last thought in your head. The field generated by the arch, by the circuit realm, wipes that memory. So you go into the next room, next room and you're like, what was I just thinking again? And then you go back into the room and you remember because the memory is stored in that. I've talked about this many times in, in a different way. Now I wanna look at it another way. Now obviously I talked about logic gates in my last video, I just want to share with you the etymology of that and the significance of what I found. So logic, a branch of philosophy that treats the forms of thinking. See, it's on about your thinking, your thoughts, the science of distinction of true from false reasoning. From old French, logique, from Latin, as or logica or logic, from Greek, he, logic, techni. Uh, and it's the reasoning, the art, from fem or logicus, pertaining to speaking or reasoning. But this is where it gets interesting. Also, or pertaining to speech, from logos. Now, as you know, logos means reason, idea, or word, but also it is tied to God and Jesus. Now, we're talking about doorways and arches. We talked about how Yanis is the threshold God, the doors of gateways doorways portals now we're talking about linking logic gates to logos and i'm going to show you the some some ideas on that just after this but that just blew me away now you can see the word the thoughts and how did we were we create the word of god frequency obviously frequency from the word the spell can also create magnetism and that's what i'm just talking about briefly before could the spell the word of of god the god of the doors be just trying to communicate and we're just losing that last thought it's just an idea i'm just thinking out loud to you guys and then it says formally also uh, logic sometimes formally plural as in ethics but this is not usual meaning logical argumentation uh, contemptuous logic chopper sophist person who uses subtle distinctions in an argument so i'm going to read out logos now obviously a lot of you will know more than me but that just blew me away about logos obviously logos too another symbolism and <laughs> i've done that in various videos in regard to curses and sigils All right guys so the reason i wanted to include this bit in this video in regard to logos um, is because if you think about it i've talked about like the doorway effects in regard to wiping our memory or the short term memory, not, not complete memory. Whether you believe this to be true or not is totally up to you. I've had it happen to me. What is behind it? Can you actually take it down to something? It just seems fascinating that even mainstream saints are now talking about doorways in this in this way. And we have all this, not just etymology, myth law, folklore regarding doorways and obviously the link and research that i do on it and it's just what well, i just think differently um and some of you guys understand that and actually appreciate just a different thought on what you see you know day in day out on youtube land and things like this so logic comes from 
or logos. So they're both intermittent, uh, uh, interwoven in the sense of etymology sense, as you, I've just read out. And these are just a few thoughts on it that I've found. I just wanted to find something, just show you a little different thought on it. And it talks about a principle originating in classical Greek, thought which refers to a universal divine reason, Emanment in nature, yet transcending, again that word trans, all opposition and imperfections in the cosmos and humanity. An eternal and unchanging truth, present from the time of creation, available to every individual who seeks it. A unifying and liberating rel relatory force which can reconciles the human with the divine manifest in the world as an act of god's love in the form of christ now this is what i'm talking about is it the fact that it's short to a memory in regard to the thought that you're having for instance i need to get something out of the fridge i need to go and get something out of the next room you, you go up through the archway and it wipes that memory out because i'm not saying it does it all the time there, there might be an external force that i'm not talking to am i talking about evil in the sense of evil influencing the arches using it for the their own good basically manipulating and i'm going to talk about evil because obviously i did a view a video on evil um a few months ago and that was on your i think that was the last video on my old channel and they took that down too so i'm going to be showing you a clip on that and it'll all make sense um <laughs> i just wanted to do it a different way so obviously a next definition logos with a longer definition the greek word logos traditionally meaning the word the thought the principle or speech has been used among both philosophers and theologians in most of its usages logos is marked by two main distinctions the first dealing with human reason the rationality in the human mind which seeks to attain universal understanding and harmony the second with universal intelligence the universal ruling force governing and revealing through the cosmos to humankind the divine we're walking through arches we're forgetting are we connecting in that brief millisecond to the dc the the, the source harmony and because we're at harmony and we're at, you know one with ourselves we forget the rudimental basic things that we're just going about to do. Just an idea, again, throwing that out, you know, at you. <laughs> no, Paul, no more. So, the Greek philosopher Heraclitus appears to be the first to have used the word logos to refer it to a rational divine intelligence, which today is sometimes referred to in scientific discourse as the mind of God. The early Greek philosophical tradition known as Stoicism or Stoicism, which held that every human participant in the universal and divinely obtained community then used the Logos doctrine as a principle for human law and morality. The Stoics believed that to achieve freedom, happiness and meaning, one should attune one's life to the wisdom of God will manifest in the second distinction above of Logos. The Christian church then extended the Stoic idea of the universal community by claiming the universal nature of salvation and the potential for all humans to participate in it. Now this is where it gets funny, and I've mentioned it before in this video on other videos. John is another derivative of the name Janos. So is this just a coincidence? Is this just the evil manipulating and basically... You know, uh, it can't copy it, so it inverts it. So it could be that, but still wow to me because, and listen, in the New Testament, the phrase word logos of God found in John 1 1. Huh? John 2 1 11. So the logos, the logic, the logic gates, the arches, the doorways is found in John 1 1. When I saw that, I thought, how can I get this into a video? <laughs> because as I'm researching for this doorway effect, talking about doors and etymology and door verses in the Bible, seeing about logos in in the logic, I thought, ooh, look up John for 1-1, one, one, it basically appears first. That, to me, is a jaw-dropper. 
Uh, so, and I'll, uh, obviously found in John 1 and elsewhere. Shows God desire and ability to speak to humans. Is it, is, is it the reality of a godly divine trying to speak to us through arches? Holds the power of the voice? Is it Janos trying to speak to us? Or is it the other source? God, the creator. The Christian expression of this communication is evident in the Christ who is the word became flesh. So we are word that has became flesh. So is that why it affects us? The spells affects us. The arches affects us. Because we are God's word becoming flesh. We have become flesh. Now I've talked about it many times in all videos in the sense of why do they want to hurt us? And I have always said they want to hurt true God, the creator. And the best way to hurt him is hurting us. And I've, I've always said that and I stand by it. So in these three biblical words, three again, like his heads, Christianity points to the possibility of union between the human and the divine. Is it divine, the good divine or the evil divine? AI, in the sense of circuit boards, Yannis' oldest name is IA, invert that, AI. So divine or the personal and the absolute. God's logos, which is Christ rep uh, represents, acts as a bridge between the human inner spiritual needs and the answer proclaimed by the Christian message. So it's actually talking spiritually now. Is it a spiritual, something spiritual happens to us walking through archways? <laughs> it's a mind blower, isn't it? When you just look at it this way. And the last bit in this, because it is highly philosophical, phil philosophical <laughs> the logos doctrine has caused some of the more orthodox theologians of recent times to claim that it should not be used in theology theology while other theologians claim it's absolutely necessary necessary to a doctrine of god according to the philosopher and the theologian paul tillich he who sacrificed the logos principle sacrificed the idea of a living god and he who rejects the application of this principle to Jesus as the Christ rejects the, the character of Christ. So this guy is just talking about his opinion. In other words, without an understanding of God's love, will, power, and as a living and active force in the world, through the Logos in the Christ and through our particip participation in the Logos without our reason. So basically, if they're talking about arches and Logos and logic in the same frame, in the same frame of mind, could the doorways be a force, an electromagnetic force that, you know, depending on the shape, the actual electric, we talked about how, what electric means in the video, and it just blew me away. So this is just a different look at it, and I'm just wow, especially when you found out it's John 1-1. One, one. Right, guys, thank you. So Logos is tied to the word. Right, and remember John 1 1, which blew me away. It was both Yanis and his number 11. In the beginning was the Word. That, as we know, is Logos. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So, whatever the Word is, is God. Now, what I found is not only just shock me to my roots, I'm just like, no way. I can't believe it. So, as you know, I like working with words. So I looked for that anagram of word. And the best one I could get was D-O-R-W. Because it really sounds like door. Like door. Like a little accent. And people always talk about Idrisil as the tree. Well, guys, this will blow you away. The Proto-Indo-European word for oak is D-O-R-W door and that became the word for a door so the oak is a doorway between worlds as it lives between the worlds tell me that isn't wow and as i've shown you in previous videos yanis is also known as the oak and i am the door now makes you think wow john is it giano is janos and janis is the god of doorways and is tied to the oak tree could you not get any more wow than that so the word translates anagrams into d-o-r-w door and that was the old name for the oak tree that got made to be used as 
what we say now as a door so I've connected the word of God to the door <laughs> just wow <laughs> I'm still wowing guys I'm just so excited I'm like a little kid now <laughs> you might thinking we're talking about doors so how has he got evil on well if people from the old channel because one of the last videos that I did on black sheep researcher and it's still up if you want to actually go and look at this video it's called evil um i can't remember the full title but it's you'll see it. it's on um odyssey and in that i talk about evil a lot and what i found fascinating was this, what i'm gonna reveal now so obviously some of you would have seen it but you look at the word evil obviously it's live the the inversion of to live is evil and I've done a hell of a lot, no pun intended, research into obviously Janos and doorways. Now, if it came to me, and it must be about four or five months ago I did it, maybe not, I do know what time flies, as the saying goes. But the fourth letter of the Roman alphabet, the Greek delta. Now, what's funny is, obviously, delta, we have the delta variant now. And obviously, that's tied to the delta brainwave. And people's been posting that we've all seen the memes. Now, what's interesting to me is obviously the delta comes from the Phoenician and the Hebrew word deleth or delet. And I'll show you an image of that on, on the screen. Now delet, obviously, and the Greek delta, the letter D, the etymology, this is what it's from, and it means doorway. So delet means doorway. So the letter D means Obviously, Delta from the Phoenician and in Hebrew, Delet or Deleth or Deleth. Now, it's spelled Delet, D-A-L-E-T-H or D-A-L-E-T. Or you might see some spelling it Delet in D-E-L-E-T. But to me, Delet sounds like Delete. And we're talking about a video in regard to all phenom phenomenon and folklore myth law and just me what effing about the effects of doorways we've had the doorway effects at the beginning talking about how the memory gets deleted and the hebrew word for d is delet so obviously in the door the d means actual door so the actual door d o o r the letter d actually means door so this is what intrigued me is because when you put the d in front of evil you get devil and we've all seen this the the the, the verse or the wording that the devil is knocking at your door so this is like the inversion we talked about obviously type of god um and the same with the devil take away the d it is evil put the d back in it is the devil the devil knocking at your door and what's funny is the form of the modern letter in greek delta is a triangle or a pyramid the pyramid sounds like the all seeing eye well we're talking about doorways aren't we and what's funny is that the actual roman numerals it is said to be half of c i c backwards it states on the, the etymology but that was an early form of m so we have the pyramid the triangle delta delet the door and the roman numerals m so we have the all seen eye the eye of providence and we have the letter m now we have the Masonic M that you see in so many in, in, um, historical figures and celebrities nowadays doing the M sign with the hand. And I'll show you a picture of that now. So you have the letter D, meaning door, delta, delet. Obviously you have the delta variant, obviously affecting the delta brainwaves. And people were talking about how people are asleep. And we also have an M, M sign. Now, what's interesting is, in an old video, I theorised this M sign was the, oh, I can't remember it off by head now, the actual pineal gland, the part of the pineal gland. And I'll, I'll show you the image, you can see it on the screen. Now, for me, 
that represents the M. And the reason that is because the occult name for the pineal is Janos. So you telling me that the pineal gland, the gateway, the doorway, because that's what people talk about, the, you know, operate in the shit, the, the pineal gland, let's, you know, recharge it and all the, the, the things that they talk about. But it's a doorway to another realm, reality, or whatever you believe the pineal gland does to your consciousness, to source, to the, and it ties into my DC source and AC source. But the pineal gland's occult name is Janice. What is Janice God of amongst so much? But the main primo, prim, not primordial, primarily he is a God of doorways and gateways. So we have the pineal gland linked to Janice and is a doorway. <laughs> and we have the letter M which is attached to it, which is a numeric value of it from Roman numerals. And then obviously the let meaning doorway. So I just found that was interesting because when you put the D onto evil, it is the devil. So the devil, the D, is the doorway to evil. So you can have both ways, can't we? You can be influenced by not only just good, but evil. Good and evil. The battle of good and evil has been going on forever. Now I talked about in the in the video about the influence and could it actually be a frequency, a wave, basically, you know, affecting people, actually pushing people over the edge. You know, and we all have the capability and good and bad. Some of us moral compasses is different. Now, I was just talking about it's down to perspective in the sense of if I'm really evil, my perspective of evil won't be what your perspective of evil is. And we get taught this, what's right and wrong from our parents. They are at the beginning of our moral compass and so-called society. So I just found it interesting that the fourth letter of the Roman alphabet, the letter D, is delet, and that actually means doorway. I'm talking about doors in this video. And the Greek delta, D, is a pyramid, all-seeing eye, the pineal gland, and the Roman numerals, it's said to be half of that. It's, it's weird writing, which was an early form of M. And could that be any coincidence that they all did the M sign? And considering it is next to the pineal gland. I just found that was fascinating to try and show you just <laughs> what crazy things going on in my head. And hopefully you can see the connection that I can see. Hello. It's not my thoughts. That's coming up just in a sec. I want to get something out. Now, 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 ladies. <laughs> It's the whiteboard. <laughs> Don't cheer all at once. Now, as we're making a video or we're researching, for anyone who's listening, we doodle, we think of things. It sounds, whoa, at the minute. And then after, when you've had time to think it or you saw it on the video, you're like, why did you bother? But I love to share my doodlings and what I find in videos. And that's why we're all here, just to learn off each other. So that got me thinking, we're talking about God, doorways, even evil and doorways. The devil knocking at your door, evil at your door. And it just got me thinking, and this is the result of that Z thinking. So I'm going to draw you a door. It's not going to be straight, but you have a door, as you can see, and the word L. So we t I've showed you in previous videos and obviously I've talked about in this video about how God said he is the door, we are the doors, the word, the oak, all that. But obviously at least something godly and divine, whether good or bad. And we have the door. Now I, I, I don't know how I got to it, <laughs> it's just one of those things. But people always talk about how evil loves to invert things. They can't create that, but they can mirror and copy. So I thought, I'm going to mirror that door because we have, supposedly we have a gate in heaven and a gate in hell. So let me invert that door. And look what we are. I inverted the door above the door and it spells hell. I was like, no way. And I thought, there's no way I'm not going to share this with you. 
that we I'm been talking about doors and obviously the L in etymologies and different things of being something godly and divine. And if you invert a door above the door, it spells H. Also, you have the 11s, but it spells hell. Now, I don't know what you guys are going to think of that, whether it's something, nothing or not. I just wanted to share it with you. So hopefully you can see and appreciate how this brain works. <laughs> right, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they call me the black sheep. You know they call me. Hello and welcome. Right, it's my thoughts, guys. I didn't want to do too much on this because there's some big points in that and sometimes even I forget that I've put them. And I swear I've talked about some of these points before, but you know what I mean? We're thinking and we're researching all the time and that's obviously the benefit of do having a video, but it's actually remembering that you've made the video. <laughs> so, hello and welcome. To the new subscribers, if anyone's new, hello. Hopefully everyone's uh, treating you good in, in the chat or in comments. Hopefully I'm treating you well. Hopefully you're enjoying this video. And for the guys who supported me throughout, you know, this channel and the other channel, thank you very much. Thank you so much. I couldn't do it without you, seriously. When you have them days where you just can't be bothered doing anything, even me, hyper me, do, do have them days. And a good comment just perks you up and, you know, just so helps. So, obviously, I did a video on circuit boards, arches, 16 other different things last week. It's gone down really, really, really well. People have said it was one of my best. I thought it was one of my best. A lot of information in that. But a long time ago on social media, a friend passed me an article in regard to this Th uh, theory on the doorway effect fully enough the irony i did know about it and forgot and then obviously when i was researching for the video going back through my notes i found it just doorway effect obviously nothing else <laughs> in the page of like 16 other different theories and questions so it just got lost and i'm glad to remembered i'm sorry i forgot your name irony again but you know what i mean it's, it's it's one or two comments and articles from a while ago and I'm glad I forgot about it in a way because I could, I've put it into a new video, a separate video. And it's it's wow. Because I want to ask everyone that's in the chat and everyone at home, hello. If you've had this effect where you have walked through a door, an arch or whatever at work or whatever at home or another building, and you've gone into the other room or whatever, and you've gone, what did I come here for? And obviously you've gone back to the other room, and it, you know, you've picked the memory up again. Please let me know, just click yes, it's happened in the comments after, if it's happened to you, let me know uh, your story, because I love hearing people's stories. And obviously this guy, this professor, the psychologist, uh, Professor Gabriel Ravansky, did an experiment at Notre Dame, we call it Notre Dame, and the experiment was to see if people would forget, I believe someone else has done an experiment and it's not come out the same, but that's in regard to, that's what me, me why I wanted to make it. Is it the actual person it, it affects the individual, or is it a, a, a proper phenomenon? Because we saw the people talking about arches now, even more, <laughs> and not regarding my research on Janus, but also the electromagnetism and horseshoe. I've been researching it for years now, obviously, because of my Janus research, telling people he is the god of the arches. And now you theorise that he could be an, a current, a programme, and so, so much more. Some people called him the Demiurge, the Devil, Satan. It's all up for grabs, because it's all theories. One theory, I, I'm on, yay, and then next week I research something else, and I'm, 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 I'm swaying. That's why I like to keep all the information I have t together. <laughs> uh, when you're making a video, I get so giddy, and people like, what? what's the video about, Paul? You know, my friends, and I'm like, I'm not telling you. And they know what I tell them, because I'm like a little kid. I just get so giddy, and I want to share stuff. And so, and I, 
sometimes I'm also in the zone when I make a video. Do you know what I mean? I don't like watching other videos while I'm making a video because I've got my train of thought. He's only looking for information for videos. So they did, did this experiment. I found out people were losing the memory of what they were going to do. Now they called it like mental blockage, part, uh, compact, dementalized, whatever the spelling of that is. <laughs> and it gets you thinking, so is that what's really happening? God, is every time I do a video you start itching? We've had a lot of thunder and lightning in today and I'm obviously doing it a bit later because it's it, the noise was really, really loud. <laughs> so I'm just like waiting for the next boom. boom. So this doorway effect obviously intrigues me because of my research into Janos, the god of doorways, the 11. And more and more people now, whether it's because I'm researching it a lot, which I am, you know, I hold my hands up, but I also do other research. And when I'm doing a video, I'll see something in that video that'll spark and I'll want to do, you know, I want to, I like to carry it on or somehow tie it into two, three, four videos that I've done. So although it might look like I'm researching Janice a lot, it's because the information, I mean, pardon me, the information has been shown to me. I'm on the path. And it's like the thing is when it when it's hot, you want to get all the information you can and just show what I find. I don't doctor anything. What I see, I show you. I let you guys go and check it yourself. Obviously, we all have our perspectives and our own magnifying glass on how we look at things and that obviously will change slightly. So this experiment just intrigued me and obviously people talking about these electromagnetism in arches and it got me thinking about that word I can't pronounce. Um, is it, where is it now? I've written it down. <laughs> Well, neodymium, and I'm not repeating that. So then magnets, and also obviously they're making more and more magnets even more and more powerful as we speak. So if there is an electric force created by doorways, arches, etc., is that electric magnetism messing with our antenna? Because I've told you about we have a tuning fork in the head, the oscillation picks up frequencies. And we dis and we obviously recall them, and that's what I believe our memories are. We store quite short-term memory in here, and we upload and download from source or the creator, basically like an external hard drive. And it just got me thinking because I've talked about this for years, especially on the Black Seat Researcher, about the theory of water being memory and the firmament being our memories. And if you're into Star Trek, uh, Deep Space Nine, you have Odo, the Changelings, how they come from the one ocean and everything is shared. And that is why we get a lot of syncs because we share the same information, the same source code, same like program as such, you know what I mean, and signal. I've talked about this so much. So it just got me thinking, when we're going through the doors, is there something that's like blocking out when we're walking underneath and for that split second, it just basically wipes like a hard drive. It's an interesting idea, especially when you take it into account the electromagnetism and how this world is. Uh, more and more people, um, there are finding bits of magnetite in the brain. So a bit like, uh, see, you know, birds use the magnetism in their beaks, obviously to go back to where they've been. Could it be the fact that these particles these aluminium particles that's been tied to is it alzheimer's are affecting our memory and when we go through doors it's like switching like i said it was switching our neural pathway so if our idea was creating like a, a thought and we kept it stored in this drawer but and we went through arches doorways and it just switched drawers and we're looking and we can't remember and then obviously if we go back to the original path and trace our way back that is where the original thought was. It's just an intriguing idea. One that I had to share with you. One I had to create a different video for. Because I believe if I would have put this in to the last one, it would have just been so, so too much information. And there's enough in this, considering it was only 30 minutes long, to blow your, to blow your mind. 
So obviously you had that experiment and that just got me going and looking at all doors. Now I didn't want to put bang 2030 verses from the Bible about doorways, tree, oak trees. Um, I mean, there is one that talks about we are the, you know, we are the trees and, and to, you know what I mean? So I didn't want it go that way. I just wanted to show you one or two theories on what or why the arches are doing what they're doing. And it just intrigued me. It really did. So the first video was, could the doors be acting like an electrical magnetism? And it's wiping that short-term memory when we go out. And obviously, because we're like computers, it's reinstalling as we go through. And that's why I had to mention my evil video, because in that few months ago, I talked about obviously <laughs> the letter D being actual doorway and delete, which means doorway. But it sounds like delete, 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 delete. And it just intrigued me. Is it it's saying that doorways have an effect on your memory, your logic? And that's why I put everything in there. I mean, that logic then turned into logos or logos or logos, whatever way you pronounce it, lo logos. My pronunciation is awful. But obviously that means the word. That just blew me away. But I'm going to try and go back to my notes <laughs> so I keep it in effect. Um, so, d is it a factor? Is it just internal doors? Is it a shape of a door? Is it just in an office scenario? But it's not because it's happened to me at home. So, that answered that question. But you know what I mean? You still have to ask the people for you what your opinion on that. Is it a different archway? Is have different jobs? Like I keep theorizing. Is it the shape? That affects it different. Is it the material, the wood, the plastic, or whatever door frames get made out of these days? Is there something? Is it electrical wires th through light switches and different things that's having like an EMF exposure? And that's what what's what's doing it. It's just poof, wiping your memory. Who knows? But we have to have to ask these questions. And yep, yeah, you know, you know, when I'm like a little kid, I'm a, a little kid. Um, and obviously, is it the shape of the size? Is it the location? Is it because your house is on the ley line? Are you near an energy point? So all these questions, well, you know, it's what we're asking now. And throughout the eons, we've had stories of vampires not being able to come in your house, your threshold, and they had to ask permission. We've had the Passover, obviously, in Egypt. When the angel of death, the spirit of the angel of death or whatever, which it was a physical or a spirit, came down. God told people to put lamb's blood, I think it was, on the door to mark you safe. Obviously in the doorpost and it was in 11. Now we know the Bible has been muggled up. Was it the Council of Nicaea? And we have Baal as Lord or Lord means husband and, and different meanings. Because each meaning has been repurposed. It's been basically translated into a different language and a different bible has a different interpretation so it is hard getting your head around all these interpretations which one do you go off i haven't the foggiest because i've not gone through every bible but you can see the point i'm trying to make so obviously i, I try and take the baseline of what it is and We've had these myth and folklores, and you, you guys will be screaming and telling me other ones. I didn't, like I said, I didn't want this to be a video then of every myth or folklore tale about the door. I wanted to keep it bang, 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 bang like that, and nicely smoothed and flow and short. Because I can make other videos on the topic for in the future. So you don't want to, like, <laughs> I'm not saying it. I'm, <laughs> I've just got a naughty mind on today. It's your fault, guys. <laughs> Oh my god, it must be that thunder and lightning, it just made me giddy. <laughs> I just want to run round in the in the lightning naked. <laughs> so we are of obviously that have the Passover and then we have various comments and verses about being I am the door. Well you know uh, who I believe the god of the doorways is, and is it the fact that they've put that into the Bible in referring to Janos, the doorkeeper, the janitor. It's crazy to think about it. And obviously then 
I talked about it before the, the 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 etymology behind logic because I was talking about logic gates and the fact that three transistors and obviously the shape of Baal who is uh, and Baphomet sorry from the last video is Janos we had God, it's like everything is just like where's everything gone off my notes and uh, we had all anyway that's it that's why it, I should be able to read my own writing. So I'll go back to that. So we had the Logos, the Word of God, or God itself. Obviously, again, it's open to interpretation. So if anyone's getting a bit fruity, you know, just turn your nipples back and just calm down. It's just my interpretation on it. I'm not a theologian. I'm not, in, you know, I don't know the Bible back to front. I'm just giving my perspective in regard to this video. And obviously, Logos being the word and I was just I don't know what it is I just sometimes zone out thinking about things and I'm zoning out I've got obviously what I read out the logos I'm like anagram that low, uh, the word and I got d-o-r-w because I was thinking you know when you got like an accent you go the door door <laughs> door and it sounds like the door so I typed it in and I was absolutely not for six the word anagram was D-O-R-W and that meant oak tree. The tree of life. <laughs> People talk about Idrisil and also obviously the tree of life, Mount Maru. There's so many different names for it. And a doorway. The word of God <laughs> is a tree, is a door. God is a door. God is the oak. And Yanis is all of them. That just slammed me. And obviously, where it first appears, Logos, and I might be wrong again, so I do apologise. Because uh, when I typed it in, it says it basically starts there. It does mention other places, but John, verse 1, you know, 1. So John is a derivative of Giano in Italian, and then Giano becomes Janos. So John becomes Janis, Janos. I've told you that so many times in my video. And it comes out in that. So that cannot be, well, I like to say, a coincidence. I've got friends like Ginger Green, Paul, there's no coincidences. I don't know why I say it, just because you're so programmed to say it. And obviously the atom, uh, the Gematria. Obviously Yanis is 11. Doorway is 11. And the doorway and doorway effect is eleven equates to eleven. And you're like, how, <laughs> when, what, what? How did they do this? Would, how did they get to this way? He just blows me away. And then the anagram, obviously, of the word goes to door, which was an oak, which is the old name Proto Indian word for door. So the word of God is the door. <laughs> and we're talking about doors having an effect on memory. Is it the fact that we are disconnecting from source, the DC, direct current, the, the creator, when we go through doors and if we're thinking about anything, that short-term memory, I said, gets cut off? Or is it the fact that we're connecting to God when we go through doorways and we're like zoning out? Because people talk about doorways being portals. It's just intriguing, isn't it, guys? And it just blow me away. I mean, in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was God. And you just find that to mean oak and door. <laughs> I do. I, I won't lie. I got excited. I got shocked. Good shocked. And I do get emotional. Sometimes I do even have a tear in me. I don't know why. It's because when I research, I feel closer to the creator. I believe this is what one thing that I'm put on this realm to do, to research. Not necessarily make content for people and share what I have, but for my state of mind. I'm, I've always been told from an early age, I'm like a sponge. I just love information. I just want to learn something new. And I'm that type of person who respects any opinion. 
I just love talking to someone. What's your idea on this and hearing that? Well, I didn't think of that. I like the way you've come at that. Whereas in this society now, it's frowned upon. If you don't follow, uh, well, I'm a big, ch- well, I've got this theory from the big channel, and because your theory goes against that, you're a shill, and you're, you know, this we have to get away from. We're doing that, like I said, I've done that before, and I'm not going down there. We know we, we, we're doing the work for him, but to research and talk to like-minded, not the exact, is brilliant. I love the chats. It's what keeps me going. Some days I feel like, you know what, I'm not going to do a content or a video. I'm just going to put my feet up. I'm just going to relax. I just, you know, why do we do it? You know what I mean? And next next minute, within seconds, someone says something in social media. I'm like, boo, 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 boo. It's set a thought off and I'm off. <laughs> we do this to get ourselves through this realm, but, you know, the easiest way we can. And I just love researching it. And to find out that the word of God is derived from the oak and actually means door. And I research Janos so much. And obviously, I do loads of other topics you guys know on, on the channel. Just wow. That was like that moment. And that moment itself is just worth the video. Uh, but anyway, see, I'm just lo- that was a wow, 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 wow for me. And a few months ago on the old channel, I did a video about evil. And people might think, yeah, I was going off subject. But the reason I put that in there was because I wanted to put good and evil in it because both are doorways. But I... And evil is live. And... I was thinking one day, I don't know where it is, I know many people thought about it, but you know when you're in the zone, like I say, and you thought, evil. Oh, if you put D on that, it's devil. Oh, what's the etymology of the letter D? You know, where it comes from, blah, blah. And obviously it's Greek, Delta, the pyramid, all seen eye, all sight eye of providence. You have also obviously got the Delta variant and the wave, Delta wave, in regard to the brain waves. I talked about that a few months ago on the different variants. But it just intrigues you, doesn't it? When you have the doorway, the etymology for a door comes from just the letter D itself, and that's delete. delete. Is that talking why it's deleting our memories? You know what I mean? So it's just intriguing. And to put the D onto <laughs> evil spells the devil and there is obviously the term or phrase the devil's at your door the devil's knocking at your door and there's also bible verses of jesus come to the knocking on and you know so isn't it intriguing when you're getting these varieties i i don't get hanged up i don't get triggered when i'm talking about mashing everything together because i believe this is what my purpose is and i've always said it i'm not here to offend anyone if you get offended it's because you're a snowflake and you're getting triggered it's an emotional response and i used to apologize for it and i don't anymore <laughs> do you know what i mean it's it is what it is i'm i'm here for me and for people to get through a day you know if my stupid face will help you get through a day <laughs> and something i'll say triggers and obviously you're away in your own furries and you and you you theorize and that's brilliant isn't that brilliant so obviously we had all that with evil and how evil is and in that video, I'm theorising, is it a frequency? Is it a magnetism? Because in the films, you see angels and demons just, you know, inching people, you know, influencing. Is this what these arches and doors are ways are for? Is this a way of influencing people, controlling the way they think, deleting? Is it a case of, on? you know, that's why they have arches and that's why they're kept? Because they're a way of deleting short-term memory, or implanting thoughts. These things are, like I said, just to think about them and get your, you know, your brain working. <laughs> yeah, even you, Steve. <laughs> I knew what cross-eyed then. So we have that, and again, the phone's off. <laughs> what is going on? I'll just have to say, sorry, filming. They're professional, me. <laughs> um yeah and that got me to 
the thing on obviously the whiteboard of what was <laughs> I'm always talking about obviously L in etymologies and different things and I've been talking about doorways and obviously door I am the the door Janice is referred to the god as the, the, the gatekeeper the janitor and I just put on on a piece of paper you can just you see on my notes you can see so I was just putting on I was just doodling and I put a door little thing <laughs> I don't know why I put the little circle to make it good you know so I could knock and L at the side I thought people always talk about in, the inversion of evil and, and, and the devil and obviously I, w I knew I was going to put the bit about the devil and obviously the doorway to evil it's you know so there's, there's doors to good and evil put, uh, you can wormholes portals gateways everything is a frequency in this realm so and as I was saying I believe everything influences us and if we're susceptible or the antenna the, you know picks up the frequencies can sway us and I just thought, I'll, I'll put a door on the top, I'll invert it, and it's spelled hell. <laughs> I'm like, nah, sh should I put that in? And, and it was going back for a few hours while I was editing my video and doing different things. And, and I thought, you know what? I'm doing it. People can set me for who we am. And I just thought that was another wow. That was just my own, another personal wow. Obviously, the word of God being door or oak is a huge wild one, obviously, the Tree of Life, um, Mount Maru, Idris Hill, and everything like that, it just gets you going. And, uh, you know what I mean, I just get excited, guys, and I just wanted to make a video to accompany the last one, the other one was loads of clips, and was visually, you know, vi visually nice to watch. And this one is not as much, but more of me talking and me just theorising. I like to mix it up a bit. And I just want to know, do you believe the doorway effect is real? Or is there something I've not even mentioned in regard to how it does? I mean, I'm talking about electromagnetism. Is it a spell? Do you know what I mean? Because obviously the word of God was the first spell. He spoke, he thought, he, you know, he, he, he said it, and it created, we became flesh. So we're walking, oscillating, at, you know, antennas. Is it a case of that we're disrupting by walking through doorways? Like, you know, when you go to a mobile phone sometimes, or a cell phone, you go into a different room, you, your bars go down and you're disconnected. Is, is that what's going on? You're basically just dis disconnecting from, you know, your memory. And that is what it is. Is it a case of it wiping it? Is it because evil can influence us through doors? Because obviously the devil is in the detail. The devil, the D, is a doorway. And evil is obviously a mirror. It's also when we're living, we're living with evil 24-7, obviously, and good. And you know what I mean? I'm just thinking out loud now. I'm going, <laughs> it's 27 minutes. Wow. I can't believe I've just been nattering for 27 minutes. <laughs> I'm going to leave that at it. And I just, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed it. Please let me know if you've walked out the door and your memory's gone down. You've lost that memory, you've come back and you've got it. Just let me know in the chat when you're watching this video. And I just hope you've enjoyed it. So this has been about the doorway effect. And then just a few things in regard to doors that it could be. So what do we always say? Come on, <laughs> scream at me. <laughs> no, I guys, smile, pay it forward. And just, you know... <laughs> Just be you guys, you know what I mean? Be brilliant, show people, you know, how things are to do, you know, and it's a honour, it's an honour and it's humbling to have a channel with so many great people. Um, I'm humbled. So guys, stay safe, always wear a smile. Bye guys. Yep, even you, Steve. <laughs> Bye.